Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have um, another prayer request for you uh, to please keep our sister Tessa, who goes by C.G. Gray Gray. You see her on every video, I think. She may miss one or two here or there. But usually she's on every video and she comments a lot on your videos. I mean, your comments. So I'm going to read to you what she said in case you don't see this comment. Okay, Miss Jeannie, please keep praying for healing for me all over my body. I have a new extreme and excruciating pain in my arm and shoulder when I do different movements. The pain goes from extreme to excruciating immediately. It's on my right side that always hurts and where I was injured on the job years ago. And where I have a disc laying on my nerve in my neck that also always causes me pain. I'm not a doctor, but I would say that disc has shifted. We'll find out. And tingling and weakness and numbness on a regular basis. Before the COVID shutdowns, I was going to the chiropractor to try and get some more relief from some of my pain. He did x-rays and showed me that one of my shoulders had dropped lower than the other one. Hmm. I don't know Hold on a minute. I got to find the sweet spot in my glasses. I don't know if this has anything to do with my new pain or not I'm going to keep taking my usual pain medicine etc and I got a new TENS unit for those of you who don't know from when I was a nurse you, you put something on your body and it was wired to a control and you and I had this done at a chiropractor's boy it really helped you dial it up slowly you feel it tingling right away and you do it until it hurts and then you back it off a little you want it to tingle and you want to feel that I guess it's like an electrical jolt but you don't want it to hurt that'll just tighten your muscles and make it worse so it's that's what it is some people get them after surgeries they'd rather we used to use them in OB on the ladies that had uh, c-sections and didn't want a lot of pain medicine because they wanted to breastfeed so the doctors put tens units on them and they said they worked really well and only, they only had to take a lesser pain medicine and not very often, so they really work. Let's see. I don't know if it has anything to do when I keep taking medicine. Okay. I got the new TENS unit and shoulder brace and back brace to help with my pain also. Now, this is the lady that's been waiting for like, what, three years now? to get on social security disability and they continually turn her down I have told her to get a new lawyer there's a demon in that other one he's not helping he wants her back pay to rack up that's what it is these lawyers the longer you wait <clears throat> if they think you're gonna make it okay and won't starve or whatever and won't go back to work that's what happened in my case. My lawyer pushed it through. I'm sure God was behind it, giving that lawyer the idea that I might go back to work since 
of what all the things they were saying was wrong with me. They go went ahead and pushed it through. And I got a new TENS unit and shoulder brace and back brace to help with my pain also. I'll give you an update when I find out what's going on. I'm going to the orthopedic Monday if it doesn't snow too much. It didn't do much today. Okay, let's pray it does not snow on Monday. Yeah, she's going to an orthopedic doctor. That's a bone doctor. Monday, if it doesn't snow too much. Oh, sister, do not let them talk you into getting that vaccine. I know you know better. The snow was already melted by the time we left out for my other doctor appointment and errands yesterday. Praise the Lord for that, which was Thursday. I hope and pray my doctor can find out what's wrong with my arm and shoulder. Amen. Yes, I pray right now, if it be Father's will, to please let this doctor find out if there is a cause that can be fixed. If it is a physical cause, let him find it. It, it, it. He surely ought to know the x-rays to take for something like that. Thanks, Miss Jeannie, and all prayer warriors who read this and pray for me. And God bless you, Miss Jeannie, and everybody who prays for me. And God bless all of God's people. Amen. Love your little sister in Christ. Okay. Now, if they don't go any, get, if they don't find anything and tell you, well, I don't know why this is doing this, I would seriously suggest to you that you contact Kathy at Grafted In Team Jesus 222 and see if there's any issues that a lot of people with pain, Tessa, and uh, abdominal pains that they just no medicine helps or um, leg pains and they can't find out a cause. We can't find anything wrong. And that doesn't mean that every single time, like my ME, CFS, I know is a vaccine injury and they won't admit it to the AMA. Well, the AMA knows, I'm sure. But the average doctor does not because they won't teach it in medical school. And they won't give them any updated information. So the doctors are clueless unless they've researched it. All right. So not all the time. Just because they can't find a cause means there's a demon behind it. But it never hurts to try. It does not hurt you at all. To be prayed over, okay, by more people. The whole team, they have a prayer team that doesn't even get on the team I'm on. I don't even see them. I don't hear from them except one lady gets on every now and then. And she'll pray for anybody that's got an issue going on. Okay, let me move on. Okay. She said, love your little sister in Christ. Okay, so she ended it there. So I pray that everybody will pray for Tessa that we'll get to the bottom. The Lord will help her to get to the bottom of this. Okay? And relieve that pain. Because I've, I've had that happen. All of a sudden, my arms have started hurting. I think it's... Well, I want to say old age. It's not what I've ever had in the past 30 years of having MECFS. Haven't had it. Didn't have it last night. Hmm. It makes me wonder. When I would reach over to get my water. Oh my gosh. I thought someone was sticking a sharp needle in my either here somewhere around my shoulder isn't that something well anyway i'll let you, let it go here i plead the blood of jesus over the video all of us our devices and our internet connections and with that i'll say bye for now and remember let me read you my shirt
It is not about religion. It's about relationship. Do you have a relationship with Jesus? Not a religious thing that you're following the laws of your church. You got it? It's all about relationship. How in love are you with Jesus right now? He loves you so much. If you're on my channel, you probably love him too, just like I do. And I pray everybody gets rid of your little problems sometimes aren't so little in a big hurry okay bye for now talk to you later